can't wait to all sleep together. <laughs> Me too. No. Us and the babies. What babies? We both want to get pregnant at the same time, but we wouldn't with you do that. No, you would in a cup and then... I'm so confused. We're best friends, both recently single. Out of some bad relationships. We both always wanted to be mothers, but we don't want to do it alone. We love each other. You know, but time is ticking, so why not do it together? So, why are you on a threesome app? My first question it has kind of a serious aspect to it, but there's there's a real housing shortage in Canada. That's a serious issue, and it's a lot of political, you know, aspects of it, and social aspects, and cultural, and, and green belt and stuff. But was that more or less a starting point for any of this at all, or was that just a a nice coincidence? It's a, I think it's a huge part of it. I mean, the starting point was definitely about motherhood. And then mm -hmm. and how could we do that? And, and would we, you know, could these characters do that together? But the housing situation is very personal to us. I know I, I, I am married and I have a child and we don't own a house. We can't afford to own a house in Toronto mm -hmm. um, now. And that was something that we were sold was going to be possible. And on top of that, rent is so bananas and you're looking at the socioeconomic structures of raising families it's made it so hard add on child care and having to work to pay to be able to live um i think it was always embedded in it that it's not just like oh, i'm just going to get pregnant it's going to be a fantasy of nurseries and baby onesies it's also how will you afford to live how will you afford to have a home yeah. and as a freelancer um you know when i could finally afford a condo myself I had to buy one that doesn't have a cutlery drawer in it. You know, like there's no, it's so small. The kitchen's so small. There's no cutlery drawer. When I was single, I was determined to become a mother on my own. And I, I did all the adoption training, but I was told that my one bedroom condo would not be suitable to bring a child home to. Oh, and that no. being freelance would not allow me to uh, look proper on paper to bring a child home. And so I was in this sort of devastating circle of trying to figure out how I could become a mother in the place that I could afford to live. That's astounding. I mean, we wouldn't be speaking like this years ago, six years ago. Uh, our society's really taken a change. But you know, you you give us some laughs with it. You, you stay at your friend's lover's attic room, I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty cramped and horrific. <laughs> but you know what? You make it look fun. And, and that's another main point about it is the friendship between your characters. And, and just if you would explain that to me, and being in these cramped quarters. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, a friendship is, is always wonderful when you can meet for coffee and then like go back to your own place. But because these gals haven't thought things through very much and because they're so, their housing is so precarious, they are forced to cohabit before maybe they're ready to, or, you know, and, and then you learn about each other's habits in a way that we can say that she's got a lot of clothes for work. She's a hoarder. She is and not a hoarder. A hoarder. <laughs> like, and Rose is a minimalist who wants to live in a tiny house. So, you know, there's a struggle <laughs> between the two. And, yeah, and that's have a slight... pretty basic one. That's a pretty important one. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're, they're seeking fathers to have babies at the same time, which is, you know, quite the goal. Um, and, <laughs> you know, and you can it's say a serious it. undertaking. <laughs> and and as you said, you know, if your if your apartment's too small, you're not going to get a baby. But um, you turn it into something funny. So they're doing it in a very slapdash way. You know, yeah. it's it's not all bad. They have each other and they have a sense of humor. They have and love. I, and I think that's so much of what the show is about is 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 love and growing and creating and making more of love. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and yes, they haven't thought it through. So we don't know where it'll go. <laughs> uh, our director of photography at one point just started laughing so hard when she said, what are they going to do with the baby? Like, <laughs> um, yes, yeah. yes, I thought the same thing. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you land in some pretty peculiar situations. There's, uh, there's, um, a racist potential yes. dad who's who you run from and there's a sister wife's house and and you do a little <laughs> scheming 
I mean, these are wild situations. It's, They're it's all scary. based on experience. Every single, <laughs> yeah. every single encounter, every single character is based on oh true God. life experience that either of us have experienced either firsthand or yeah, firsthand, firsthand, first secondhand or anecdotally, no, but mostly it's mostly all real. It's and so the characters are based on, there's a kind of um, authenticity and Jeez. truth in, in where they're coming from. I know. When you're single <laughs> for 15 years and you really want to become a mother and your relationships aren't working out and you're online dating, you really put yourself in the line of fire of meeting some yes. very, very interesting people. So maybe I had to go on all those dates to write this show, you know? Yes, there you go. It was <laughs> it was all part of the process. Yes, it was so good to it. It also shows, you know, these could be horrendous situations and they really are kind of. Life is life and you have to deal with it and move on. And if you're lucky, find something positive or something to laugh about in it. And I think that's what the series is really good at doing because it can okay. be such a car wreck what's <laughs> happening with these girls. I anyway, know. Um, I had not heard of momunes before. Is that a real thing? Yeah, it is. It's a huge thing right really? now. It's, it's a big movement. It's it's it. A lot of the time comes from women who've been divorced and are now raising families and the challenge of being single mothers and then realizing if they're together, they're sharing some of that load together. Mm -hmm. And there's so much mutual support in that. Um, but there are also now more people like the Anna and Rosa characters going, okay, we're in a platonic relationship, but we want a family and doing that on your own. It's, it's hard. People do it. And they're honestly warriors. It's incredible, but it is hard. So it's definitely a thing and, and something that we feel is a great thing because you're looking at how to build family and community, how to create and nourish love in a world where we're getting more and more siloed and separate and lonely. It's about coming together. Yeah. Isn't that great? There is so much potential for, for more series. Would you like to take it to a regular full length series? Yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, we're happy anyway. We, we hope because there's so much more story to be able to tell more story. Yeah. Yes. Um, and if, uh, you know, that moves on to the longer form episodes, great. And if it continues to be short form episodes, that's also exciting. The chance to tell the story of these women and growing families in different ways. Would be Thank a blessing you so anyway. much, ladies. I've really enjoyed speaking to you. Thank you. Thank you. That's the last of the show. Oh, my God. Your baby is so cute. If I could, I would father a hundred children. And I'd always thought I'd be a father by now. We could do this. We could co-parent. I feel that too. No. I'm feeling. Oh no, we're being evicted. No, I'm keeping those with me. I mean, if we're gonna be partners, we have to be partners, right? Right. Ow! Where'd you sleep last night? Okay, it's really hot. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm burnt. Are you okay? Will I ever be able to have sex again? I'm gonna end up living in a tiny house with you, aren't I? I have a really good feeling this time. <laughs>